What's going on YouTube? It's Giga here bringing you some more Series 13 Battles with Live commentary. Today we are continuing to use this Genesect team that I used two episodes ago. Um, I've been having a lot of fun with it. I'm really excited to play around with Genesect and have some more good games. So looking at my opponent's first team, it is Incineroar, Lunala, Charizard, a Regieleki, Groudon, and Grimmsnarl. So my first thought right here is Kyogre is a, is a must-have. Um, the issue though is we have no Sun. Um, so I'm a little tempted for Raichu Venusaur. I think that this gives us uh, the most amount of flexibility, right? If you want to lead um, Groudon, we do get that sun set up. Um, let's bring Kyogre in the back. And then, you know, Genesect isn't great here, but we're going to bring it. It's the Genesect episode. Um, and we can try and utilize the rain. I said that last time and it like didn't go well. So uh, hopefully, you know, it goes a little bit better. Um, and also as we're getting into it, please make sure to subscribe. We are really getting close to a billion subscribers. And I know that we can get there if everyone that's watching this video takes the time to click that button. Uh, it really goes a long way in helping me out. So looking at my opponent's lead, uh, it's going to be Regieleki with the Grimmsnarls. This is actually really good for us, right? Um, Raichu is there to uh, stop what that Grimmsnarl wants to, or that Regieleki wants to do. Um, and we have the ability just to go for a nuzzle and, and fun things like that. So I'm going to go for a fake out here. Um, and I'm just going to go for a sleep powder onto the Grimmsnarl as well. I want to try and stop it, um, primarily from, from setting up and this way, Hey, even if you switch out, right, we can put you to sleep, um, which I think is going to be really huge. And then we can just start kind of firing off, um, spam, right? Like you're, you're not really going to do much. Um, we're seeing the Regieleki, yeah, just going for a protect here. Um, so that, that's going to be really great for us as, as fake out going to come out. Uh, and if we can put you to sleep, you know, that, that would be, uh, obviously really great. Uh, we unfortunately do miss the, the sleep, so they are going to be able to set up a status move, um, but that's fine with me. I'm just going to go for um, a nuzzle onto the Grimmsnarl and go for a sleep powder onto the Regieleki, right? We're, we're just trying to spread status. We're not really uh, going for much else. Uh, as we're going to see the withdrawal, and the question is what's going to come out now, uh, it is going to be that Incineroar. So this is um, fine with me, right? Putting it to sleep is huge. Then we can pivot out into um, our Kyogre. And that, you know, would, would be um, a just really advantageous position as, yeah, they are going to uh, unfortunately get a light screen up. It's not the end of the world um, as we will, like I said, just fire off a nuzzle, um, trying to get some nice paralysis and doing actually a, a fair bit more than I expected. Um, we will luckily hit this sleep powder. Uh, so that's, you know, always really nice. And now the, the question is, is, what do we want to do? Um, I'm just going to keep going for... Um, I'm going to go for another, uh, no. I want to Volt Switch here. I'm going to Volt Switch into the Grimmsnarl. Um, and the problem is, like, I don't really have a good option. I'm just going to Protect here. Uh, and this way we can bring out Kyogre and we can just go for uh, a, a Helping Hand boosted uh, Max Guys or a Water Spout, which should be more than enough to, to get up some big knockouts, especially right as the Grimmsnarl. I'm going to go for a Reflect here. So uh, we know that that Incineroar has a guaranteed turn of sleep as we will just be able to, to pivot back out into Kyogre. Uh, and with the helping hand, right, I'm not really worried about um, anything really surviving at this point, right? If you want to switch into a Groudon, uh, I, I say kind of so what. Um, so out comes the whale, right? And the whale is protected um, thanks to that Raichu, which is going to be really huge here. We also do have Venusaur, uh, which, you know, doesn't really care about um, anything. So I'm fine to, to click Water Spout here. Uh, as well as a helping hand. Even if you, like I said, want to switch into something like Groudon, then we do have the ability to kind of pivot and use Venusaur um, as our main max option. And, and we will really like basically uh, pin your Groudon. So I'm I'm pretty fine with this position. It does get a little bit tricky though. Like, um, no, I was going to say, um, there's not really much to worry about uh, because like, right, if you bring out Groudon, we just max the Venusaur. Um, we do get hit with a scary face. It's a potential big deal if the Incineroar wakes up, um, which is going to happen here as we are going to see the parting shot. Uh, so this could be into a Groudon, but like I said, uh, with the helping hand boost, I, I'm totally fine with um, with how that, that damage is going to work out because then we do have the ability to to just max the Venusaur um, and pivot out into our Genesect to, to set up uh, the rain once again, as it is going to be Lunala. So Lunala, uh, not what I was expecting for sure. I was um, yeah, I wasn't expecting that at all. Lunala is still going to take, um, a really big chunk, right? We're, we're seeing it, it go, uh, super low and we know that there's no crowd on. So we, uh, now have control of the weather, which is going to be a really big deal. And the question now is what is my opponent going to bring out? It could be that Incineroar, um, Incineroar is 
a little scary. Um, Reggie Alecki is also an option. We are going to see, it is going to be that uh, Incineroar. Uh, and I'm fine just to, to go for a Geyser um, into the Incineroar slot, right? And say, hey, this way we can switch out into our... Um, actually, I'm going to Geyser the Lunala slot. Uh, and I'm going to Helping Hand again. Uh, I don't want the Lunala to set up, right? Like Incin, I don't care about. We have Raichu in the back. Uh, and this should be more than enough to, to pick up a knockout. We saw how much uh, spread did with the, the Shadow Shield up. We're going to be doing single target with the Helping Hand, doing a lot more than last time. Uh, and so I'm fine just to, to, to get rid of the Lunala, right? Incineroar, not a big deal. We can then pivot out into Raichu um, and, and kind of go from there. And and yeah, Raichu will, will pin the, the Regilecki very well. Um, we have a, a ton of HP, so we should be able to, to comfortably take um, an Electro Web, and worst case, we do have um, Genesect in the back, which once we get rid of the Incineroar, you know, should be in a, a good spot. So we're going to see the fake out. It's going to go into the Venusaur. Um, so definitely a good choice there as we will be able just to fire off. Oh, you're faster than me. Um, we do luckily dodge the Hypnosis. Um, we miss the Sleep Powder. They miss a the Hypnosis. It, it works out. Um, we, we do get rid of the Lunala. And I think the better play, I think the better play actually... Um, it's going to be to, to try and target that Incineroar instead of the Regieleki, um, just because of the fact that we have Raichu, right, and, and Regieleki cannot touch it. Uh, it could have Max Strike, which is a little bit uh, concerning, but uh, I'm just going to go for the Geyser into the Incineroar, as well as pivot out into the Raichu. Um, like I said, Strike is a little bit concerning, but we know that if you go for Strike, you have to be targeting into the Raichu, um, and then we can just pivot out, wait for the Regieleki's Max to end, uh, and try and go from there. So I'm fine just to, to take out the Incineroar. Um, we could see, like I said, a Max coming out here. Um, an Electro Web is, is totally fine with me as well. Um, I don't know what you you could Max here. I'm guessing it's the Reggie Alecki. <coughs> it could be that Incineroar. Um, Incineroar is actually not a bad option. Um, okay, it's going to be the Reggie Alecki. I was going to say Incineroar is not a bad option because of the fact that you can max guard um, and then try and go from there. But um, Reggie Alecki, right, we, we, you shouldn't be able to, to deal damage at this point. Um, you're going to lightning straight into my little Raichu. Um, Raichu, amazing Pokemon. We love to see that. Getting a nice little special attack boost there as we will unfortunately take a throat chop, but thanks to our Focus Sash, right, not a big deal. Um, and guys are going to fire off onto this Incineroar. So bye bye Incineroar. Uh, unless you're Focus Ash, in which case we fake you out the next turn. But um, yeah, no no Focus Ash there. And at this point, we have the ability just to go for um, a Helping Hand boosted Max Lightning. Or not Lightning, uh, Max Geyser. <coughs> Sorry, uh, a little cough in the morning. So we're going to click Max Geyser here. And then we're just going to go for um, a fake out as well. Just in case, you know, it's Sash on the Alecky. Uh, this way we can break it. But at this point... Um, okay, so they, they probably do have Max Strike if they are, um, yeah, they, ha they have Max Strike, which is fine. Um, I would have liked to have known that because then I would have switched out Raichu, but, you know, um, it's fine. This is a Geyser from Kyogre in the rain. Uh, I don't see the Regieleki living, and even if it does, oh, and it's Life Orb. Okay, and we still have Genesect in the back, uh, which is going to be able to take all of these attacks very well, as well as, um, Venusaur. So, I did not expect it to survive. I will, I will say that. I did not expect the Alecky to survive that. Um, I'm going to bring out Genesect. I want to get a KO with this Genesect. We're going to try to get a KO with this Genesect. Um, right? We're going to bring it out. Look at how cool it looks. Um, we love... Oh, God. It's such a such a good shiny. Wasted on such a, an okay Pokemon. Um, we do have a special attack boost, so that's really nice. Uh, I think we go for the Ice Beam here. I think that there's no reason uh, to risk the accuracy, especially because Venusaur... Um, <coughs> has uh, what's it called uh, an inaccurate um, leaf storm and so this is probably our best bet I think you should have gone for um, the max guard I don't oh, man poor Genesect. I thought Genesect resisted electricity um, so we're gonna be able to go for the max guard or because um, that gives you spread damage whereas now um, you have to take uh, a single KO and we can just go for the Ice Beam and at this range, right, Regieleki, yeah, going to go down, even if it didn't, um, they, they still had to, to, you know, go for an attack with Life Orb and that was So, glad we were able to, to take that. I know that last time I felt uh, a little down about our performance, so starting off with a win, um, 
you know, always, always a, a, a great feeling. And so overall, I, I felt like it was a, a solid battle and let's just keep rocking and rolling and move to the next one. All right, battle number two, and it is Zashi and Kyogre, Yveltal, Dialga, Whimsicott, and Mew. So I'm very, very excited about that Mew. Um, it can do a lot, so it'll be cool to see what exactly that entails. The question though is, what do we bring, right? Um, Dialga is very, very scary. We have nothing to hit it with. Um, I think maybe just Zashian. Uh, and even then, yeah, we don't actually have any good way of dealing damage to uh, Yveltal, or uh, to Dialga. So I'm going to do uh, Raichu Yveltal. I think that that's kind of our best bet. Uh, stalling out the max is, is going to be huge here. Um, we bring Zashian. Dude, I can't, I can't justify bringing, um, Genesect over Yve or over Kyogre. Um, can I? It has super effective into Mew. You know what? We're going to do it. I don't care. Um, this is for fun. This is a ridiculous format. We love it for all of the wrong reasons. Uh, and I want to play with Genesect and we're going to play with Genesect because I'm not going to have a chance to do that again. I'm going to have a chance to bring Kyogre again. Um, so yeah, we're going to just, we're going to make sure to bring the, the mythical because you know, that's, that's the fun of all of this. Um, yeah. And we're, we're going to do that. So let's, let's see what my opponent's going to lead here. Uh, we are going to see a Whimsicott Kyogre. So, okay. This is, this is fine, right? Um, this is fine for a couple of reasons. The big one being we have Raichu. Raichu has fake out. Um, so we have the ability to go for a fake out and a snarl. Uh, which, you know, has the ability to, to have a, a really big impact. Um, so I'm going to do that. I very much uh, would like to go for a fake out and then we should have Snarl, right? Uh, yeah, we have... Oh, we have Tailwind of our own. Let's do that. Let's do that. It is um, a little bit unfortunate that we will um, stagger our Tailwind one turn earlier. But I think the benefit that we gain from that theoretically um, works out. The only issue is if you KO my Uveltal. Um, but you shouldn't, right? If you're going for spread, um, we're going to get the Tailwind up. You should not KO my Yveltal, I hope. I don't actually know the Calc. Um, Origin Pulse going to come out. It's going to miss the Raichu, which is nice. We get to preserve our Focus Ash. Uh, and that should not KO, uh, Yveltal. Yveltal should survive. Survey says it does. Huge for us. Um, I, at this point, would love to nuzzle a Kyogre, um, and go for a Snarl. Uh, go for an Oblivion Wing. I'm an Oblivion Wing into uh, this Whimsicott, right? If we can get rid of it, that I think is a, a it's not a fair trade, but it's a trade. Um, and Raichu preserving its Sash is huge. Uh, I think we have to max Genesect or we max Raichu. You know, we it's not unheard of for us to, to max Raichu. Um, we are going to see the Whimsicott going for uh, a light screen. So uh, a little bit of an interesting choice. I think it's one that will pay off though. As if it lets the the um, Whimsicott survive a an Oblivion Wing, uh, it lets you set up a Tailwind with a Light Screen, which puts you in an, a very advantageous position. Um, and it looks like yeah, they are going to be able to survive that. Um, but do we get enough HP? I think we do have enough HP to survive another Origin Pulse, which is going to be really good here, um, right? And Survey says we should survive that. Um, perfect, just barely, but just barely is uh, good enough for me. And now at this point, I'm fine to go for uh, a Volt Switch onto this Kyogre as well as go for a Snarl. This way, if you get up a Tailwind, right, it's not the end of the world. Um, we do have to figure out though what we want to switch into. Uh, nothing is really going to appreciate um, getting hit with a, an Origin Pulse. Um, we could bring it, I think we bring out Genesect here. Um, I think it, it just makes the most, Jesus Christ, that did no damage. Um, I think we have to bring out Genesect. Uh, I don't like the idea of bringing it out, but we don't have uh, really another choice of anything that wants to take um, an Oblivion Wing. I mean, not an Oblivion Wing, an Origin Pulse, but what's nice, um, let's see, Attack Rose. That's fine, we do get the U-Turn boost. Um, Snarl Double Connects, that's huge. I wanted that to take out the Whimsicott. Um, that would've been really nice, but you know, it's fine. Um, we're gonna see the Icy Wind, so an interesting tech choice for sure. Um, Yveltal will go down there. Genesect going to take pretty much no damage at all. Um, and now we're in a, a really good position, right? Your Kyogre, uh, is paralyzed. It has taken a Snarl. 
uh your whimsicott is almost dead so i'm gonna actually bring out zashian here um i think zashian is our best bet uh i do i quick attack the whimsicott that's a question right we need to get we need to get rid of the whimsicott um I'm gonna flash cannon and play rough. Um, there is no reflect up, so we should, in theory, be able to survive a hit. We could see a max from the Kyogre, or we're just gonna see the charm. Um, charm is fine with me, right? We, we do take um, an attack drop. Uh, actually, it's two stages. I thought it was only one. Uh, play rough, you know, that's gonna be a little rough. Um, we do get a very relevant attack drop, though, on the Kyogre, um, stopping all of those physical Kyogres that um, have been running amok in this series as we will have to take an origin pulse but at minus one um i'm hoping for the best as yeah it's going to be that origin pulse let's see how much it does uh onto zashian at minus one survey says um i don't like that i don't like that at all they still have a tailwind um so things are very very bad uh yeah can we mm, i don't mm, i don't like that we wasted too many resources on kyogre um we don't have a tailwind now the question is, what do you bring out, right? Our, our option is, um, let's see what this is. It's going to be a Zashian. So that's um, very bad. But I think, okay, I think we have, no, we brought Genesect over Kyogre. Um, that's bad. They have two turns of Tailwind left, right? Um, all right, here's what we're going to do. We're gonna steel spike the Zashian and go for a protect. We're gonna hope that we can survive. All right, let's think about this. Was this the optimal play? Probably not. Um, you should, you should, okay, you should blade into my Zashian. Um, oh, oh, that's bad. Um, Hayuger got the icy wind off. Uh, I don't know if that makes you faster than Jenna. We're going to get the Protect off. Um, Kyogre can get paralyzed. We do have an out. Um, we're going to see a Behemoth Blade. I hate that they called the targeting right. Um, so bye-bye, Genesect. You're not surviving that. Um, we tried. We really did. Uh, Kyogre, okay, Kyogre can get paralyzed. Yeah, we, 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 we genuinely cannot do anything at this point. Um... I don't know why this Kyogre is going for Icy Wind. They definitely made the right play there. Imagine, imagine if I had just Emith bladed and KO'd their Zashian. Um, well, okay. Uh, we go for, what do we do? We, we fake out. We fake out. Okay, here's what we do. We fake out. We fake out their Zashian. Fake out their Zashian. Uh, we play rough into their Kyogre. Then we can Helping Hand Behemoth Blade into their Zashian. Yeah, that's fine. I don't care. Um, we just need to KO this Kyogre. You know, the obvious play would have been just to, to pick out into the Kyogre. Um, but I didn't want to chance it on getting a read wrong. Um, perfect. The Kyogre going to go down here. The main issue is that all of you are about to point out is the fact that my opponent uh, still has their max and a full HP Pokemon in the back. So they're just going to bring that out and um, KO me. It is going to be a Dialga, and yeah, we, we cannot beat a Dialga at this point. Um, you know what? Here's how we beat the Dialga. We helping hand. We helping hand the Zashian. We are fat. We hope to be faster than their Zashian. We KO them with Behemoth Blade. They KO our Zashian. We nuzzle their Dialga, and then they proceed to be paralyzed the rest of the game. That is our out. Um, is it a good out? Probably not. It revolves around one, us being faster than them, uh, and two, us getting a critical hit, and three, most importantly, them never attacking, which, you know, is a little hard to get. So we're going to see, yep, the obvious Dialga, um, and god, I really wish I had Pratchett Consent. Um, Genesect would have been so good. But here we are. Um, okay, so we need to be faster. We need to crit to KO their Zashian. And then we need to just paralyze a bunch. Um, survey says, perfect. Okay, we're, we're there so far. We are faster. Um, please get the knockout. Survey says, come on. 
knock out, knock, no. Sad. No critical hit. Uh, so they're going to KO us with Behemoth Blade, and then they're just going to Quake to finish off my poor little Raichu. So, um, you know, an unfortunate ending for sure. But, you know, we, we got time for one more. And, and we're going to we're gonna bounce right back, and we're going to say, hey. Um, oh, and you Steel Spike? Come on. At least go for the Quake, man. Poor little Raichu. It tried its best. So, yeah, that is going to be, uh, unfortunately, the game. I think if we had brought Kyogre, um, we would have been in a much better position. But, you know, I wanted to bring Genesec, and I'm glad I brought Genesec. So, you know, that's what it is. Uh, let's just keep rocking and rolling and play one more. All right, last battle of the day, and it is Charizard Thunderous, a Zacian with Dialga, Grimmsnarl, and Incineroar. So once again, we have no answers for Dialga. Um, we're going to lead Yveltal. I like, you know, I really like Raichu Yveltal. Um, I think it's our best bet. I also need to remember that Yveltal has a weakness policy. Um, not something we, we've really used yet. Um, we have to bring Genesect and we bring Kyogre. Um, I think that's our best bet. We are in a little bit of a tricky position with Thunderous. Um, but I think we have good ways of, um, dealing with that. Uh, so we'll see. All right, sorry. Um, so looking at leads, we're going to see a Grimmsnarl Zacian. Um, so this is a, a pretty good spot, I would say. Um, <coughs> okay, I, I'm going to go for a fake out onto the Zacian, uh, and I'm going to set up a Tailwind. Um, I think that that's our best bet. And then we can go for an, I think we nuzzle. Um, yeah, okay, that's fine. Uh, Grimmsnarl is actually a little bit annoying here. Um, light screen. Okay, light screen is fine. I want to nuzzle. I want to nuzzle your Zacian. I'm going to be real here. I very much would like to hit nuzzle and hit foul play. Um, and you know what? That's, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to nuzzle and click foul play. And it's going to do a lot of damage. Um... Yeah, we're going to do that. Uh, so we probably should not. Okay, we're going to see the Reflect. I think that that's a smart play. Um, I'm hoping that Nuzzle is a two-shot onto the Zacian, even with the Reflect up. Um, we do get a nice little para. Worst case, we can uh, go for the Max and go for a Max Darkness, as let's see how much this is going to do. Um, doing a very big chunk, actually, um, as Play Rough going to come out into the Yveltal. Um, so, you know, we tried our best. We really did. Um, so, Yveltal goes away. Um, I can bring out Kai... I'm gonna... Okay, I'm gonna make the right play. <laughs> know that I wanted to bring out Genesex there. Uh, but we're gonna do the, the quote-unquote right thing. Um, and you know what the, the quote-unquote right thing is? It's to click Helping Hand and to click Water Spout. Um, the main issue as some of you are about to point out, is that that Grimmsnarl can go for speed control uh, and hit my Kyogre with the T-Wave, meaning that it is slower than the Zacian. Um, oh yeah, we, we have Lightning Rod. You can't do that, Raichu is so good. Oh my god, I love that. Um, so this is a helping hand boost with Water Spout. Goodbye, Zacian. Goodbye, Grimmsnarl. It was nice knowing you. Um, amazing. I totally forgot about Lightning Rod. What a what a great Pokemon. Um, Pikachu is boring. Raichu is great. Um, that was a lot of damage. We have the ability to... We ha Oh, we have speed. Oh, there's so much good stuff going for us. I love it. Um, we're going to see Dialga, the Shining Star. Very cool. Um, we're going to do the same... Oh, we have to go to Tech Man. Um, okay. We have a choice to make. What is the chance that Dialga goes for Trick Room. What is the chance that it has Trick Room? I would say it does not. I'm going to nuzzle it because I think it's funny. Uh, and I'm going to click Water Spout because I think it's funny. 
Um, I could have gone for a helping hand max scale storm. Um, you're going to go for that into my Kyogre. That's fine. Uh, we will get a nuzzle onto the Dialga. The objective just is to paralyze you. Um, we should be able to survive a hit with our, um, oh, that's bad. That's bad. Okay. We have no tailwind. The issue, right, is you're going to go for, all right, I'm just going to, okay, we're going to, we're going to paralyze everything in prey. Um, I'm going to go for an origin pulse. We're probably not going to get it. The issue is we have to take out this Incineroar because we have Genesect in the back and Genesect does not like Incineroar. Um, shocker. So I should have protected because that would stall out the trick. But we didn't do that. Um, we're going to see the Warm Wind. This should be into the Kyogre. Um, Kyogre going to go down there. Everyone is shocked. Um, this could be Life Orb. Just looking at uh, purely the amount of damage that that did. Um, survey says it is going to be a throat chop, unfortunately, onto my little uh, mouse. As we will be able to, you know, electrocute this Incineroar. And that's always really fun. Um, so now, like I said, we're going for the idea of paralyze everything and pray. Um, we do have Genesect, which does have super effective onto the Incineroar, and we have the ability, uh, to go for Max Flutterbee, um, which can, uh, blah, 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 lower Dialga's special attack. Um, so it is not the ideal world that we are living in. Um, but you know, we have a chance. Um, I, d oh, I don't think that the da I don't I don't know okay so I don't know if that changes to max strike or if that'll change to max geyser I don't know if it's like weather ball which is very 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 relevant right now um I also do not know if we will survive the turn so you know there's also that okay good start good start I'm for it um we're gonna have to take a quake oh is it going to you Oh, into Genesect. Okay, I'm fine with that. Um, I don't care about Genesect at this point. Um, <coughs> God, please say that this is Max Geyser. Um, yes! Thank you, God! I was so worried. Um, so this should KO the Incineroar. Uh, it does not KO the Incineroar. Um, Uh, we're going to go for a Flutterbee into the Incineroar. Um, can we get some more Paras in the chat? Come on, Para, Incineroar. Yeah! <laughs> we don't care about you. Uh, Quake, going to come out um, onto my Genesect. Genesect will take that. Um, we then can hopefully KO the... I, should, I feel like we should be able to KO the Incineroar at this point. Um, and then we need to figure out, though, how we're going to KO this Dialga. Which, you know, is a little bit questionable. Um, <clears throat> Instant goes down. We get a, a special attack drop onto the Dialga, um, which is very nice for us. Um, and that's also a really big deal, right? Because of the fact that we are now um, going to be able to attack one turn into the uh, non-Dynamax Dialga with our Dynamax um, thing, Genesec. Um, so we're going to go for the Helping Hand here and then... All of our attacks are not very effective. Uh, this is physical. I forget. Okay. I I think Flutterbee is the best option. Um, I don't actually know. Right? I'm assuming... I don't know if if Bug is a quarter resist. Um, oh. All right. I was hoping at minus one special attack that would not KO. Um, Let's look up Dialga. What is... Okay, but it's like... It's plus two special defense. Um, Dialga. Oh, and they have a light screen up? Yeah, I was not doing any damage on the special side. Um, do you quad resist bug or is it dual resist? I still think that... Um, 
Okay, bug is 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 just dual resist. Um, what is Dialga's boost? Do you have a? Uh, okay, you have a reflect up. Uh, so I'm gonna go for. Are you gonna set up trick room? That's my question. Are you setting up trick room? I'm gonna go for the U-turn, because if you set up a trick room, uh, we get damage off. If you don't, we're net neutral. Um, we're gonna do no damage there. Get a paralysis. Perfect. So that's gonna get rid of your reflect, uh, and now we're going to be able to do more damage uh, with the Dialga. So that's really or onto the Dialga. Um, that's really good. You might go for a roar of time. Um, yeah. So that's what I was worried about, right? You're gonna get the trick room off. Um, I'm gonna go for a protect. Uh, just to waste some turns. I don't have a reason to go for anything else. Um, yeah, we stall out the trick room as much as we can uh, and not really give you anything to work with. You're going to go for the earth power. I think we can take... I don't know how many of those we can take. We're at 64. You're at minus two special attack. Um, so we're going to see... Let's see. I need to be above 32. Um, okay, perfect. 34. So we should, in theory be able to uh, cinch this one out. So what I want to do is I want to go for um, a protect here and then we go for a U-turn and then we go for another one. Um, and that should be enough to win us this game. Um, think, okay. Genesect should not resist dragon. Let's quickly check here. Do we chance it? Oh, let's chance it on double protect. It's um, dragon on to Genesect. It's not very effective. Um, I'm going to chance it on the double. I'm going to chance it on the U-turn. It's going to be the same either way. You could get paralyzed. Um, <sighs> We'll never know if that would have KO'd, as Genesect will finish things off as it should be. Um, so shout out to my opponent there. Um, definitely a little bit of a frustrating ending for sure. I'm always glad to, to win with Genesect. Um, but yeah, the, the strategy of paralyze everything and hope for the best continues to work. So we will be playing some more uh, Series 13. Uh, let's really take a look, you know. Um, pretty standard Charizard here. Um, Scorching Sands, interesting. Um, Brick Break Thunderous, so this is Life Orb. Uh, Adrenaline Orb, interesting. Um, very interesting tech. Um, Zacian, pretty standard there. Uh, Trick Room Dialga, yeah, we, we saw that. Um, Steel Beam, so you really had to go for um, that Earth Power or that Roar of Time. So I think my opponent actually played it very smart, saying, hey, I need to get you in a position where I can Roar of Time. Um, Grim Snarl, pretty standard. Yeah, shout out to, <laughs> shout out to Thunder Wave. Um, and then Incineroar, yeah, um, you know, that, obviously that, that Flare Blitz would have hurt a lot, so glad we were able to, uh, you know, not take it. So, that's the game. We will, like I said, be playing some more, and with that, until next time, I hope all of you are wonderful, and I'll see you then.